So I'm here with, with Colton Charnholm. He's a member of the Spokane Falls Community College. And Colton, right off the bat, you know, season starting. You guys are, you know, really trying to get your uh, kind of your groove get, get, get going. What things have you been working on and focusing on this this season to improve upon? Well, a uh, big thing I've been having to working on is uh, transitioning from being a relief pitcher to a starting pitcher this year. So the th big thing I've been trying to work on is being able to try to last longer in the games and still trying to get in a groove in that because it's a, it's a totally different animal than being a relief pitcher. So, I mean, I mean, once I get used to that, I think, I think it'll be a lot easier going from there. And then, you know, for you guys, Spokane Falls last year took third place mm -hmm. the NY tournament. Great showing. What things are you guys trying to approve upon? What things are you guys hoping to accomplish this year? I mean, obviously the goal is is we want to win NWACs, but I mean, realistically, we can the, we can improve in all areas. I mean, there's there's no reason to stop trying to improving. So I mean, we can improve defensively, offensively, and uh, especially up top on the mound. And then you know, playing at the college level, it's a lot different than playing at the high school level. Obviously, what things did you have to adjust and, and kind of learn as you got to the college level? Well, the the college level is a lot faster play pace, and there's there's a lot better players than at the high school level, obviously. So there there's a there's a big skill gap there that you have to get used to that you're not used to right out of the gate. But as being the second year guy right now, is it, it come accustomed to it to learn the differences. And then also, you know, being at the college level, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, mm -hmm. but it also takes kind of people motivating you and pushing you. Who in your life has been that that motivator to get, really keep you going and keep you working? Um, I'd have to say my parents. They, they've always been there for me to always try and push me to make sure I do the best that I can do. And so I really have to thank them because I don't think I would be where I am today without them. And then obviously a lot of players as they're growing up, they'll look at Major League Baseball players and kind of see their style, just their personality. Is there a player that you've watched and been like, yeah, I kind of like how they approach things. I want to be like that. Yeah, like personally, one of the guys growing up, especially for me, was Clayton Kershaw recently. His, his area, era of prime, that, that was just amazing to watch. And it's just always thought, man, it would be great to just be like him. Uh -huh. Obviously one of the best of all yeah. time. And then last question I have for you, you're out here at the ballpark. You always see kids running around. What advice do you have for those kids who want to play at the next level? I mean, just stick to the process. I mean, we're, you got to always work hard. It, like, there's always going to be people more talented you, than you, but I mean, what I'd say is hard work will beat talent when talent doesn't work. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Sure.